Hey there, it's Mark Merrick. I'm with E3 Building Solutions in Boulder County, and we're up at the project on uh, outside of Boulder in Four Mile Canyon. We have the fast wall block that's been filled with the pea gravel mix for the wall. And what we did was we used the flat panel that uh, fast wall offers, and we uh, adhered it to the block with some spray foam called Enter Foam, and then we attached it with some screws. We used just a torque star, star drive screw and put sort of a belly band around the building. Kind of helps architecturally reduce the height of the structure. And then as you can see, as we kind of walk around the structure, um, the block layout worked perfectly with the window sizing. So the designer set up everything to where uh, the window openings were on the block module. And here you can see again how the window layout you know, here we have three block across, so those are a two foot increment block. So this window opening is six foot wide, and then it's on the eight inch increment of the block coming up, so the window fits perfectly. And here you have below grade, we did a, a scratch coat of cement. Um, we used uh, three parts of sand, one part Portland, and then we put a product called Tamaseal, which is a vapor permeable uh, waterproofer on top of that it just brushes on with a paintbrush and then we use what was called site drain which is a dimple product with fiber on top of it it's just a landscape cloth um, to keep that dimple clean and all any moisture that hits the side of the wall will go to that it will shed down to our perimeter drain and go out to daylight and here you can see again how this is a window opening that goes to the floor for this bathroom there's a door opening here and how they're sized accordingly with the block. And then what we did here was because we only had a, a four foot wide wall, we went ahead and soldier stacked this so it's straight up and down. Um, we also tied it with foam just to make sure that this was a good secure wall because what we did was this is a three foot below grade and then we came up. The ledger system is just on the other side of the wall to hold the floor up which is just above the door opening here and we our first pour went above that so we just made sure to brace off good um, and then our first pour was basically from the footing which was three feet below and then approximately ten foot up so it was approximately about a thirteen foot pour on our first pour you can also see here again um, we have uh, oh we have a little caterpillar and then we also have the scratch coat tamaseal site drain there's several products that have a dimple. I like that because you're, you're, you know you're making a sort of a rain screen so that that moisture will hit that, run down, hit your perimeter drain, and again all that will migrate out to daylight. And then here you can see how a corner block comes in. One foot of it, you know, is marrying up to this wall. One foot is coming into this wall, and then you're back to a standard block, and then the all-purpose block. Um, you can cut very easily in half. So that's what this block is, and then it creates an end block. And this is a two foot end block. Comes from the factory, made exactly like that from Fastwell. And then you cut the APs, and you have your half block. So you end up with a nice end transition here for your window opening. And also, you can see over here where we've cut in our um, electrical box. Uh, this is a Carlon box. You can use any type of electrical box you'd like. And it has a sort of a snap fitting, and you can fit the, what we call it, Smurf tube. It's just a flexible piece of conduit that's running in the wall, and it's coming out in that floor ledger. And now the electrician can come right back in and trace the wire right down that tube right to the box. The reason I run two is I like to have. Um, basically sort of a supply return <laughs> um, where he can run a wire down here um, if he needs to use this as a junction box he can put an outlet in um, he can use a single gang uh, cover on this which is called a mud ring or he can leave it as a double box and he can split this with a piece of plastic and then you have a low volt side and a 120 volt side so you could have an outlet with a TV supply here or a telephone jack for a computer um, but anyway you have two chases so he could run 
Romax down or a wiring to an outlet and back out and continue making all those electrical connections. And now all the electrical is running through the framing just like it would in a conventional built home.